Well, welcome to Tuesday Night Live again. I had to restart this live, guys. Sorry. There's zero people in here right now, but I know a bunch will be coming over here in just a second because uh, apparently I was logged in under ramblings. And then when I went live on Ridge Life, it like said, nope, you're not going to do it. So now we're back. So Sheila Tubbs is in the house. Thanks for Sheila. Come on in, girl. Appreciate you. Sam Mosh. Crazy John. People are rolling in now. Thank you very much. Let me pop this chat out here. Pop out. Pop up. Let's see here. We got Kim Campbell's in the house. Big Wave, Florida. Sherry Fillmore. Lila Newton is over over here now. Jin Jin. What's going on, Jin Jin? Evelyn Newman. Uh, Lynn Nioki. Shelly B. Anna Mae Beekman. There's Auntie Anne saying loud and clear. Sorry about the Auntie Anne. Had to create a new live. It got all Jackie Jackie wonky wonky. Peppy Smurf is in the house. Uh, Firefly 64 said, you had me scratching my head. I do apologize. I do apologize. Ray Hoffheim, come on in. Good freezing evening, says Gene. Appreciate you coming in on this good freezing evening. Chilly here, too. Rose Chastain, hello, hello. Crazy John says, hello, Auntie Anne. Let's see. Liam McGothigan is in the house. Man, that's, a, that's just the coolest name in the world. Beth Cornett, hello. Hey, peeps, she says. It is peep season, isn't it? Who eats peeps? Raise your hand if you eat peeps. And if you eat peeps, do you like leave them out on the counter to get all crispy and crunchy on the outside? That's the question. Is that how you eat your peeps? Old man King Homestead, come on in, come on in. Lonely Hitchhiker Kent is in the house. Thanks for coming in. T Mike D is in here. Cindy Brown, I'm here cooking dinner. So can't chat much. Jeannie Lipsky and Mary Ranch, thank you very much for coming in. Let's see here. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, make s'mores with those peeps, says Cindy Brown. Never tried that before. Never tried that before. Um, I just got back from Grandma Carol's eating dinner. My Uncle Sonny was over. And uh, we made some fried rabbit. I should say Grandma Carol made fried rabbit. She made fried rabbit, homemade mashed potatoes. Not no instant. She made homemade mashed potatoes, rabbit gravy so it's not brown it's not white it's kind of more brown than white so rabbit gravy and uh lima beans with something else in it i think they were and uh then of course deviled eggs so fried rabbit two fried rabbit i ate the back strap and one of the front uh hind legs oh it was so good cindy pope hey hey from georgia what's going on from georgia there's jen jen with the drooling she i sent her a picture of it she saw it Shiloh Acres, we make s'mores out of them peeps. What? That's crazy. Auntie Ann, it was amazing, girl. Leon Miller, good evening. How you doing? Make a pile of deviled eggs today. Ooh, gotta love some deviled eggs. Jeannie Lipsky, oh my gosh, haven't had fried rabbit in years. One of my faves growing up. <coughs> it's so good, so good. Uh, let's see here. Treasure Hunter Neil, good evening. Thanks for coming in, guys. Appreciate you so much. Patty Price, hello, hello. Karen Breast is in here. Carolyn Messer, thank you for coming in. Gary Ball, hello, Tim. Glad your surgery was approved from North Carolina. Love me some North Carolina. Jen Jen's making her a sandwich now. I said it. She didn't say it. I mean, she said it. I didn't say it. She called herself a sandwich maker, okay? I, I, I didn't say it. The woman said it herself. Leon Miller, enjoyed the concert recording last night. Well, thank you very much. That was... um. Big Wheel. I originally put that out to members only a while back. And, um, you know, I went, you know, after some time, I said, you know what? Everybody needs a little Big Wheel. I wasn't going to, you know, like, that's not really a Ridge Life kind of video. But, hey, it's all about the Ridge Life. And we live it up on the Big Wheel. What am I drinking? I'm drinking some Coke Zero Now More Delicious. Thank you very much. With a piece of paper in my mouth. Oh, sorry. I got a cough drop in my mouth, and the cough drop was really, really old. You know, those really, really old cough drops, and the paper don't quite come off the cop dro cough drop, and you're like, ah, and you stick the whole thing in your mouth, and eventually the paper has to come off. Yeah, I know, I know. I need a cough drop, though. <laughs> What's up, Brian Wilkerson? Come on in, buddy. <coughs> Lila's laughing at me. Um, so, yeah, guys, uh, 445 into this, 100 friends in the chat lumpy burke with the member emo emojis thank you very much in there 
Here's the man of the hour, says David Glunt. Thanks for the birthday wishes. Absolutely. It was David's birthday. Everybody sing, happy birthday to David. <laughs> happy birthday. Uh, let's see. Leon Miller, well, no work life. You have to have something to post to YouTube. Hey, hey. Um, I posted two videos in the same day, guys. Two videos in the same day. I posted uh, the, the Big Wheel video, which really was on there before. And then I posted the work, bee work video, right? Working the bees. Hopefully, you, did you, anybody see working the bees? Dana Mason. Hey, Tim, glad to see you're feeling better. Tim and I are definitely praying for your health and your upcoming surgery. Well, we're praying for you as well. Uh, you you and Tim down there in, uh, in the South, our good friends from down South. Um, but thank you very much, Dana. I appreciate you so much. Uh, nothing better than a little wax paper with your cough drops, says Auntie Anne. Yeah, you know, you know, like you ask grandma in church, you know, grandma, you got a cough drop or a piece of gum. And she opens up that big old purse and is like, woo, mothball smell comes out and all that stuff, you know. It's like, here is a half eaten piece of Wrigley spearmint gum. You know, the, the ends open and it's got fuzz. It's got that fuzz all over the, the you know, because she took that Wrigley uh, spearmint gum. Or the juicy fruit, remember the juicy fruit? And she would rip it in half, right? And if you had a grandma that really was trying to cut pennies, she would rip it into a third. So there would be a third, a middle piece in there that had soft edges on both sides with the fuzz growing on it. <coughs> You're lucky if you get the middle piece. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, that's what this cough drop's like. Ah. Let's see here. Uh, Paul Honeyman is in the house. Thanks for coming in there. But what did I miss, Brian? Um, uh, you didn't miss much. You didn't miss much, man. Sherilyn Dietz. Yes, saw the bees. My son has bees also from Northwest Wisconsin. It is beekeeping season. Uh, those bees are a buzzing. And um, if I wasn't having surgery coming up, I would be splitting those bees into four colonies. Okay. So, if I can get my knee better before they split on their own, I'm going to be having four colonies instead of two. The bees will probably do it all by themselves. They run out of room. They make more queens. The old queen leaves with half the bees, called a swarm. That's what a swarm is. It's the old queen and half the bees when they run out of room. And um, it's just natural, just how bees reproduce, how bee colonies reproduce. <laughs> Glenn and Shannon, Salty Life, hello, hello. Um, so if I do get a chance to work the bees again after I get my knee down, what are some names for two new bee colonies? David Moffat, hello, hello. Do you have any uh, I suggestion here? Uh, you, were you allowed to laugh when the bees were after me, Carol Messer? That's a different video. That was the rambling video. But yes, yes, you were allowed to laugh at me. Yes, you were. If you set up empty boxes, what, uh, would they split into them? Not really. Not really. Uh, you can put um, lemongrass oil and uh, they may, but really they need to be up about 18 feet off the ground. And, and they just don't like splitting themselves real close. Crib bees. I like that one. Crib bees. Super one and super two. What's up, Drops? How you doing? Dawn Hat Creek. I think she had the, the Big D Colony. I like that one, uh, Hat Creek. Big D Colony. You know, that, one, that one's high up on the list right there. The Big D. What's up there, Dawn Hat Creek? Come on, bees. Absolutely. I love that, too. We got so I may be able to get two new colonies out of this. Timifer bees. Woo, the Timifer bees. Oh, and there's another Timifer bee by Crazy John. Auntie Ann and Crazy John both with the Timifers. Sheila Tubbs, country boy. I got now just for you guys don't know. Do you guys know I've got 41.36 bees and uh, gunslinger bees? That's what I got so far. No work life colony. Okay, I don't know about that one. I don't know. Gin gin bees. Woo, the gin gin. The Honey Home, says Shiloh Acres. Ridge Rich. Ridge Rich's bees. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Knees bees. Bees working on the ridge. G getting it bees, says Jin Jin. I like that. Getting it bees. That's a good one, too. That's high up there as well. Getting it bees. I like what David does sometimes is he gets a big old list of things, and then he lets the members pick from the smallest. So you guys... Get to bring all these things in. Uber bees. Look at that. Shooter bees. Um, 
so you all get these big old names and lists and stuff, and I get them together, and I, I, I narrow them down to three, and then we let the members pick, so or four, actually. So we'll see. We'll see. <sighs> and you sat there and chewed it while she fanned herself with a fan and an angel on one side and a funeral home ad on the back. What is that, Glenn and Shannon Salty Live? I have no idea what you just said. No idea. Oh, David Moffat with the DD. I'll be DDBs. Carol Bees. There you go. Safeties off bees. That's the three Mississippi thing right there. Safeties off. They are talking about the gun, Tim. Okay, I didn't, I didn't know, didn't know what was going on there. Um, kiddo came up with the home. Honey home. There you go. Honey home. Let's see. Gum. What? You're talking about the gum. Y'all just lost me completely, people. A lot. Just woof right over my head. Ramblings with the broom. Talking about grandma. Oh, okay. Okay. Blackberry smoke bees, says Kim Campbell. Thank you very much. Pretty cool. Gum not gun, says Auntie Ann. Okay. I'm just... Karen Herky, good evening, sister. How you doing, girl? Uh, gun bees. Okay. Yes. That makes more sense. Um, busted knee bees. Ooh, that, that's a low blow there. Ooh, ooh. Oh, you talked about grandma Carol's gum. They were talking about, oh, about yeah. Grandma in church and she opens up and the, and you get the Werther's original from the old guy in the front, right? He always has that Werther's original. <laughs> and every old guy in church definitely have to have a, a Werther's original. <clears throat> He's either got a word of the original or a butterscotch, right? Old guys and butterscotch. They just, they just, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Uh, okay, guys, it is time to talk about the plans. The, not, not the jazz hands, the plans, the plans. And the plan is uh, butterscotch for sure, says Auntie Ann. Tim's on meds. Don't worry, folks. Man, I wish I was on meds. The only thing I'm on is cough meds. I'm, I'm jacked up on Mountain Dew. No, no, I ain't got no Mountain Dew either. <coughs> Coke Zero, now more delicious. When to come on, when to come on. I'll tell you right now, is my left knee is killing me. You're like, Tim, it's your right knee that's messed up. It's my left knee that's killing me right now, though. I've been walking all wonky, wonky, you know, a wonky, a wonky, a wonky. And when I'm walking a wonky, my left knee starts to wonk out. All right, so here is the plan, okay? Here's the plan. The plan is whatever Jin Jin says the plan is, says Paul. <coughs> Ooh, Lindy Oki says Mountain Dew, yuck. What you talking about? Mountain Dew is, I say I don't drink as much Mountain Dew as I used to. I used to drink. Are the root barrel drops. Oh, my goodness. The the root barrel, ball, oh, my gosh. The Oh, yeah. Root, ooh, root barrel, the barrels. Ooh, mm, mm, mm. Overcompensating always hurts the other side more. Actually, that's Dave exactly what it is. <coughs> Humbugs, right? There you go. Humbugs. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Not, not about the candy talk. Ah, blasphemy, says Kelly Texan to Lynn the Oki. <laughs> orange slices. Uh, in her purse? Orange slices? I mean, the, I know the candy orange slices, right? But in the purse? Ah, always, always, always with the candy. All right. So I got a call today. I got a call today and it was um, uh, the nurse from the Campbell Clinic. She said, Mr. Roberts, I got some good news for you. I need you to verify your date of birth. I said, well, I'll verify my date of birth. And I did. And she's, she said, we got your surgery scheduled, scheduled. I said, yes. I said, she said, it's approved and scheduled and that's the allograph that's that's the one i was wanting to and so it's in the surgery center i don't have to go to the big hospital where you know you're you're just a number i'm going to the surgery center where they actually uh and i'm not saying the hospital isn't as personable as a surgery center but surgery center that's all they do is surgeries there's no uh, emergency room there's no all that other stuff going on so <coughs> so surgery center Getting the allograph, the, that's the one with the cadaver tissue where that, they don't have to cut me all up stealing my tissue. Stealing my tissue? You ain't stealing my tissue. Uh, uh, uh. My tissue staying right here. I'm going to take some old dead guy tissue. Hopefully it's the old young guy because us old guys, our tissue is not too good. Not too good. Um, so 
Lorraine Gordon. Hello there, Tim, from Ontario, Canada. Well, hello there. Thank you very much for coming in. Uh, Cadaver Bone. I believe it's Bone and Tendon. I believe it's Bone and Tendon. Um, so it's it, they actually, uh, where it's already attached, they get that big old piece out there and uh, they can trim it down and they attach it to my bone and, uh, all the, the thing, a thing, the bone, the thing, a thing, and the, the, they do the, and then, and, and it works. So, all right. Uh, love you, Burke. Hello. I went to have an MRI last night. I had a panic attack and couldn't do it in that wild. And th those suckers are loud. I'm not kidding. It makes the craziest noise and uh, takes for like 30 minutes, too. I, I first guess time I ever had an MRI. I didn't know that. Super glue, says Auntie Ann. I'll try some super glue. Paul Honeyman. Uh, uh Tim. Grats on the surgery going through, bro. But make sure Jin Jin has her nurse outfit on while she's tending you. Oh, that little high skirted nurse outfit with the little hatty thing and the. Ooh. Praise goes up, Matty V. Thank you very much. Appreciate you very much for that. Um, Hubby calls them Star Wars chambers. That's what it sounds like. Whoa, 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 whoa. That thing and the thing that ain't. And it works. It does. It does. It does. I just had the one and I was able to go feet first. That was way better than head first. Yeah. See, with my leg, obviously, I just went feet first and it stopped about here. So I know Lissa had one when she was little and she had to do the whole body thing, you know. <coughs> Dang it, I was getting my dinner. I missed the surgery. Oh, Southern Bust Home said, what's going on, Mac and Patty? And by the way, Mac and Patty are not going live tonight. Taking a little bit of hiatus right now. Um, the surgery, she called me. The nurse called and said, you are approved for the surgery. And it is going to be Good Friday. That's right, people. On Good Friday... I'm having surgery. So thank you to Dr. Bernholt, my surgeon. He has uh, agreed to do a surgery on a holiday. Good Friday. And he's not charging me double time. Better not be because I ain't paying. Um, good Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he, he, he actually brought that up, you know, a, while, a week or so ago and said if we get it approved, he would look into it. And uh, I didn't expect much from that, you know, being a holiday and everything. But once it got approved, um, the nurse said if we did not do it on Good Friday, it would be two weeks before they could get it done again. Two weeks. Two weeks. So it's going to be on Good Friday, uh, early Friday morning, which is only what? Today's Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Three. I can count people. Yeah. Yeah, three days. I can count. Um, not very high, but I can count. Will Tim rise again on the third day? Well, hopefully I'm drugged to at least the third day. Okay. So hopefully I'll be down and out on Friday. And then that whoop up one day, two, whoop up two day, whoop up three day. And hopefully the drugs wear off and I can wake up because guess what's happening on April Fool's Day on Monday? Someone's playing a joke on me. Yeah, he is definitely a good one. He's a knee specialist, Jeannie Lipsky, knee specialist. <sighs> April 1st, Monday, April 1st, guess what I'm doing? Guess what I'm doing? I'm not going on a trip, that's for sure, and I better not trip. Um, not getting any dozer work done, nope, nope. Had to call trip, I had to call trip and tell him no dozer work, because I, I got to be, I, I got to be able to go film dozer work, right? Um, thank you, Lonely Hitchhiker Kent. So Monday morning, Seven o'clock in the morning, seven o'clock in the morning. You better be doing a whole lot. I, I, I can't do nothing. I just got surgery on Friday. So what am I doing on Monday? I won't be sleeping like crazy, probably moaning in pain uh, Saturday and Sunday. But what am I going to be doing Monday? Somebody got to know this. April 1st, we're going to see Tim actually do something. Nope. You ain't going to see this because it'd be Tim crying. I will be crying my eyes out. Not coming home. I'm actually coming home the day they have surgery. It's all outpatient nowadays. Isn't that crazy? It's all outpatient. Tim's misreading you, Paul. And I, I do that. You you better not be doing a whole lot. No, there you go. Yes. Auntie Ann, you got it right. 
Apologize. Flip it. Reverse it. Thank you. Pedgene uh, River. Got a New York strip on the grill, so I'll be in and out. Mm, mm, mm. All right. You'll be fine, says Jen Jen. Thank you very much. But what am I going to be doing on Monday, April Fool's Day? And they're going to be, they're making a joke out of me. I'll tell you that right now. Better than me, I'm putting off soldier shirt. Oh, don't do Oh, Lumpy Burke has got it. I wish I was playing with the granddaughter. I won't be in the mood to play with the granddaughter. They got me out of bed on Monday, having surgery on Friday, um, and doing physical therapy on Monday. They got me scheduled for physical therapy three days a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And the first one on Monday is at 7 a.m., about 30 miles from here. So got to get up, got to. Gonna, gonna, oh my goodness. It's gonna be, and like some of y'all were saying, well, Tim, a lot of people do PT uh, the day they have surgery. That's usually for knee replacement. Knee replacement, they actually have you up and walking the same day. That is not the case with ACL reconstruction using allograph and meniscus reconstruction. Meniscus is a long, slow process. Long and slow, long and slow, like David Cook's uh, ribs, long, low and slow, low and slow. Have fun, Tim. No, John, not going to be fun. No, no therapy. Brian got therapy. Changing his diapers, David Moffat. <laughs> hey, yeah, somebody be changing my diaper. Uh, drops Family Garden. I don't envy you. See my mother do double knee surgery. <laughs> As some bus home said, Hey Tim, you're looking forward to the sponge bath. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. That's what she says. <laughs> Long and slow. <laughs> Jin Jin, that's pretty funny. <coughs> uh, anime. Yes, the sooner the better for therapy. I know, I know. Um but the, the surgery I'm having, if it works out, it'd be no load bearing for six weeks. Now, looking at the schedule, gone fishing, says White Rock. They live on the ridge with a lowercase t, lowercase r. I live on the ridge, the ridge with a big old, big, big old r, big old r. Okay. Thank you very much. And a big old l. Okay. Susie Jacobson, good evening, good evening. Lindy Oki, some of us home said, hello, hello. He has Nurse Jin Jin for his bed baths. Oh, yeah. Tim will probably be singing Tennessee whiskey for a week. Ah, give me some Tennessee whiskey. Uh, David Moffat says, uh, White Rock, I love the spot you cleared for the nugget. Yes, pretty cool. <coughs> um. So let's home said I was talking about the nurses. Oh uh, yeah, oh yeah. Um, so physical therapy on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Hopefully the the Wednesdays and Fridays will schedule those for later in the day. Um, so no load bearing for six weeks. Uh, don't know how I'll be feeling. Um, can you imagine Tim's humor while coming out of anesthesia? I'll be one of those guys. I'll be one of those guys. What did you say to me? I swear I seen the crow. The crow was like saying, Hey, Timmy, how you doing? Give me a piece of lollipop. Lollipop, lollipop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's exactly how it's going to be. That's exactly how it's going to be. Okay, all right, back, back to it. Um, so, six weeks, no load bearing. On the seventh week, not on the seventh day, on the seventh week, guess what happens? So what happened was the meetup, the Arkansas Valley YouTube meetup is the seven weeks after my surgery, seven weeks. So guys, I got to get healed up to where I can get mobile in seven weeks. That's the plan. All right. Get that physical therapy going, getting me mobile, and that way I can drive and um, and uh, get the camper all set up, you know, with very limited assistance. Limited assistance. Midnight Blogs. I think Tim has had too much time on his hands. Too much time on my hands. It was ticking away for me. Was Who sings that song? And I know I don't sing it good. So who sings? Too much time on my hands. 
Oh, yeah. Who sings it? Who sings it? Got this, says Mr. and Mrs. Walter Job Jr. Hello, hello. Get you a hoover around, a hub around. Oh, yeah. Good, yeah, yeah. Auntie, are you going to be there on Friday? If so, we'll help you set up. Actually, going to be there on Thursday. Uh, I got, um, I think I rented Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. I think I rented three nights. Uh, sticks, not ABBA. <laughs> sticks, big way of Florida with the wind. Too much time on my hands. Oh, it's a good song. Good song. How long will you be off work? Oh, my goodness, Marilyn. You asked the question. Okay, I've been off work. I got back from vacation February 19th. February 20th, I blew the knee out. So I've been on sick leave <coughs> since February 20th. So uh, now it's March 26th, so over a month. And they do not have me released to go back into work until about August. August. Because uh, work will not take me back unless I'm full duty. Um, they will not take me back light duty. You know, I mean, obviously, I, if I can go camping, that's light duty. And, uh, you know, if you can go sit in a lawn chair, you should be able to go sit in the office at work. That's what I thought. But nope. They won't let me go sit in the office at work doing my work. You have to be able to uh, go do the other parts of my work too. And uh, I guess they just don't want to, you know, pay me the big bucks if I can't do the big buck stuff. So uh, I guess we'll just have to do what they say. So yeah, isn't that crazy? I've been on workman's comp since Jul July 22nd, 21. Oh, wow. That's, that's rough. That's rough. All right. Jin Jin just texted me. what did she say? Jin Jin. Oh, she sent me pictures of her sandwich. Now that's a sandwich, girl. That is a gourmet sandwich. Mm -hmm. Got the little olives with it too. Ooh. She she <coughs> she makes a gourmet sandwich. You, you gonna make a sandwich? She gonna make a gourmet sandwich. Got ol sliced olives on the side. The girl sliced olives. That's what I'm talking about. Um, Cindy M. Tim, the road to a successful surgery is is to do what you are told. Don't overdo it. Set you back. Absolutely. <laughs> so I'm saying whenever there's milestones, whatever those milestones are, I'm, I'm hitting them. Okay. I'm hitting them. I am hitting them. Uh, let's see here. Leon Miller, David Moffat. How have you been on it that long? Oh yeah. Um, that's a long time. That is a long, long time. Wanda Henry. Good evening. Hope you're doing well. Appreciate you coming in so much this evening. 27 minutes, 37 seconds. So I had the beekeeping video out yesterday tomorrow's video nope 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 not tomorrow's video thursday's video is running away but i'm running away from the cabin from the camper i'm getting to work so in the video coming up thursday i get on it i get on it i mean there are tools involved there is uh impact drivers there's jacks, there's gasoline, I mean, there's air compressors. We're getting it Thursday, okay? It's called running away, running away. I'm running away from sitting in this ridge crib for so long. That's right. So that video will be coming out Thursday. And then guys, tomorrow, May, I may have some big news tomorrow may have some big news mama v good evening mama v is doing a great job on youtube awesome to uh, see what you're doing with that old cabin in the woods she has her a big old uh, brand new cabin she's building in the woods very very nice loving the hat in the lot well thank you jen jen you know appreciate that uh you know, the reason i'm actually wearing the hat uh david and i were talking you know david's been wearing his cowboy hat and uh I wear hats in, I work in hats a lot, tractors and stuff like that. Uh, indoors, the military and church kind of keeps me from wearing hats indoors. So typically if you watch an indoor video, I'm not wearing a hat. Um, but the way this, the lights are and stuff sometimes on live streams, the hats actually are kind of nice. Um, and the reason I'm wearing this hat is David said he loves this hat. He said this hat fits me. I mean, it, it's, it's, it's 
probably a lot of you have seen me in, in videos, Ridge Life videos, working on the, the chickens and the rabbits and tractor and doing all that kind of stuff. Wearing this hat. This is an old Australian cowboy hat. It's an Australian cowboy hat. It's a little bit different. It's got the uh, little tassels that keep the flies off you. And, you know, the flies off your neck. Got to keep the flies off your neck. Um, so, yeah, it's not a cowboy. Well, it's not an American cowboy hat. It is an Australian cowboy. Now, that's a hot. <laughs> What movie is that from? <laughs> now that's a high. Actually, he says, now that's a knife. Now that's a knife. Uh, after I got out of the military, it took a very long time for me to wear a hat in size. SBL, some of the, some of the Southern Blessed Homes. I don't know why there's an L in there. <coughs> Knows exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, wearing hats indoors when you're in the military is just a weird, weird thing. Crocodile Dundee, says Dawn. And Auntie Ann, there you go. Appreciate the crocodile done, D. O'Rourke's Littlefield. How you doing? How you doing? All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a poll now. Okay. This is a poll uh, to see if, if my audience is how I think they are. Paul Hogan and Croc Hunter. There you go. Oh, that's a knife. Uh, Brooke Burke, good evening. Return to work day 2025. Ridge Life, turn to work day. Yes, Thursday. And then I go out of commission on Friday. That's right. Back out of commission. I get one work day in, then right back off. Uh, Mike Birch, I can't keep a hat on my head. There you go. A poll, says Lumpy Burke. <coughs> All right. I'm, I'm doing a poll. Yes, I'm going to do a poll. I'm going to do a poll. I'm not going to dance on a poll. Okay. I promise I'm not going to do no poll dancing tonight. Okay. Uh, my poll dancing days are over, at least till I get the knee fixed. Then, then we'll see, you know. Pole dancing. That's my other channel. Woo! All right, gonna do a poll. And I'm pretty sure, pretty sure a lot of you guys are in my genre here, okay? David Moffat, after the military, I, I went full opposite, got a beard and stash and wear hats nearly all the time. Yeah, a lot of people kind of just flip it like that. They go long beard, long hair, and wear hats. Yeah. You don't film the pole dance, says uh, Auntie Ann. Oh, yeah. No, no filming the pole dance. Okay. I have four, four cowgirl hats, Wanda Henry. Woo, girl. Go with the cowgirl hats. Too much information, says Lila Newton. Too much information. Crazy John says, Ridge Life After Dark. Leon Miller, I wear a hat except church and formal dinners up until I lay down at bed at night. First thing I put on in the morning. See, I kind of understand. <coughs> all right. Surges Talk TV says, uh, I wear a hat all the time after retiring. See, yeah. And uh, that was probably Big Mike. Jason, I think, isn't here from uh, Right Rock also. I don't know if that's Big Mike or Jason, but I'm I'm betting that's Big Mike. I'm betting that's Big Mike. Uh, let's see here. You need a baton to twirl. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Okay. <coughs> all right. Here's my poll. Here's my poll. I want a thumbs up, okay? Thumbs up if you've seen this movie, okay? If you've seen this movie. And this guy kind of tell me my audience here, okay? Thumbs up. And clapping hands if you love this movie. Thumbs up if you've seen it. Clapping if you love it. Don't do nothing if you haven't seen it. Don't, don't love it, okay? Seen it, love it, zip it if you don't care, okay, okay? Here we go. How many of you, and I'm pretty sure I know my audience here, okay? Pretty sure I know my audience. How many of you have seen and can quote most of or part of Talladega Nights, the story of Ricky Bobby? Come on. Come on with it. Come on. How many have seen and love of the Ricky Bobby. Come on, the little thin pancakes, okay? Who knows what little thin pancakes are? Okay, we got the thumbs and the claps right there. We got the thumb and the clap. Oh, we got some clapping from Anna Mae and Auntie Anne and Brooke Burke. Oh, yeah, come on. <sighs> Lila Newton and Brian Wilkerson, Lumpy Burke, Ladybug Lady, Woodchuck. Woo, what was that? Wood Chris Finest. There you go. Richard Plants. Not me, says David Muffet. I remember my, what? Oh, my goodness. Tim Mason knows it. Sergeant Talk knows it. Cully Texas. See, I know my audience. I know my audience. Old Man King is like, zip it. What? Jennifer. I know Jen Jen is, she doesn't, she says she can't. She can't. Okay. She can't. All right. All right. 
Now, this is so terrible. This is so terrible. When they're sitting around that dinner table, there is so many things wrong with what they said around that dinner table. When he talks about his smoking a hot wife, right? And we got the all jacked up on Mountain Dew. And then we got, we got them disrespecting the grandpa. And then, oh my gosh, it's just, it's just so bad. It's so bad. Man, it's so good. You know, shake and bake, baby, shake and bake. If you haven't seen that movie, oh my goodness. Yes, really thin pancakes. Oh, the crepes. No, they're really thin pancakes. Uh, they're crepes. Yeah, really thin pancakes. Uh, Firefly 64 stepped away to stop to heat up a bagel and y'all talking about Ricky Bobby. <laughs> oh my goodness. I was in crowd, I was in crowd Sean at Talladega. That's what makes them so good. Oh man. All right. If you haven't seen Talladega Nights, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Ricky, you're not on fire. I'm on fire. Help me, help me. I'm on fire. Oh, if you're not first, you're last. No wiser words have ever been said. If you're not first, you're last. <laughs> oh, help me, Tom Cruise. Help me, Tom Cruise. Ah, I'm on fire. Help me, Tom Cruise. <laughs> oh, NASCAR, not a sports cause athletes run. <laughs> Where's my truck? Oh, there it is. Lynn the Oki has not seen it. Oh my gosh. Ah. Ah. I want some hush puppies, Daddy. I want some hush puppies. Oh, all right. Y'all, uh, y'all give me some lines. All oh, jacked up on Mountain Dew. <laughs> oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. Oh, Evelyn Newman. It, it is so, it is so, it's, it's. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for my smoking hot wife. <laughs> Sit down, Karen. <laughs> Bobby, you're not supposed to think about the consequences. Just finish in the race. <laughs> oh, stripes, blazing saddles, all great stuff. Great stuff. Great stuff. Uh, uh, you took her. You took her, you thief, twisting the teeth around. Oh, my goodness. Oh, yeah. See, Firefly C4, that's one of the. Uh, yeah, I, I try not to say stuff like that, but that's. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Can't tell you how many times I've seen Twister. Yeah, Twister is also another great, great, great movie. Okay. But see, there's certain movies I can quote. Like, I've, I've told you guys this before. Another movie that I quote almost from beginning to end, and I haven't seen it in 10 years, is Heartbreak Ridge by Clint Eastwood. Okay. I piss excellence. <laughs> I piss excellence. Oh, I'm laughing gas. It got me in the laughing gas. But Heartbreak Ridge by Clint Eastwood. So good movie. Um, uh, Clint Eastwood is an old uh, 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 Marine drill sergeant. He's got to raise these recruits that are just misfits. And then they have to attack the island of Grenada and take it back. Oh, man. And it is Gunny Sergeant. Gunny Sergeant. Oh, my goodness. That's such a good movie. All right. When he says, this is the AK-7 assault rifle, the preferred weapon of your enemy. It makes a distinct sound when fired upon. Re oh, my goodness. I will learn to adapt, improvise, and overcome. Mm, mm, mm. Heartbreak Ridge was the bomb, says Lila Newton. Sounds messed up, Paul Honeyman. Oh, man, it's so good, so good. I think it's because he's yelling. Am I yelling? Am I yelling? Not yelling. David Glunt said, seen it many times. Heartbreak Ridge is one of the Rob's absolute favorite movies since Shallow Acres. What do you do 
to your mic, Tim? What did you do to your mic? Oh, is it when I yelled, does it muffle down? Audio is cutting it out. Yeah. It's probably the software, like when I sing. Yeah, it's probably a, a, a volume leveling or something. I gotta, I, I've, Auntie Anne, I've looked in the software and there's nothing on this that does that. And I've looked at the software and there's nothing either. So, yeah, it's because I'm screaming. Your sound is messing up. That's better. Yeah. Yeah, it's because I'm, I'm yelling. I probably need to turn the gain down. Let me turn these down just a little bit. See if that help a little bit. Is it a little bit quieter? Is it? Am I just a little bit quiet? It was crackling. Yeah, I was probably. I was probably getting a little over animated. You know, does, does Tim get just a little bit animated? I do get a little bit animated. I do. I do. Static now a bit. Static. Okay. Let me uh make sure this is plugged in. That's plugged in. I don't. Mm, I yeah. I don't really know what's going on there. I do apologize. Um, better now. Better. Okay. Yeah. It's probably just me screaming, hollering. Yeah. I got to remember to turn some stuff down, put the mic a little bit farther back, a little bit farther back, because I'm a little bit on the loud side. A little bit on the left. Go smack the back of his head and tell him to settle down, says Cully Texan. Settle the boy. Settle the boy down. Gran Torino. Yeah, yeah. Another another good movie. Another good movie. Um, not enough rum in that Coke Zero. No rum in this, man. No rum in this. Alcohol free. It's good. It's not anything like the first one. So good. All right. Now, guys, um, Jin Jin talked about Roadhouse. Okay. She uh, posted on Facebook. She was recommending everybody to see the new Road Roadhouse with um, Jake Gyllenhaal and um, Oh, uh, what's his name? The, the, the Irish fighter. Okay. I will say the original roadhouse was very well made. Great cinematography, great lines, great story. Great movie. Great movie. Sam Elliott. Damn. That hurts, doesn't it? When he kicks that guy in the knee and he looks down at him and says, that hurts, doesn't it? That is a line. When you kick a guy in the side of the knee and his knee buckles, I know it hurts. When you kick a guy in the side of his knee and his knee buckles and you look down at him, you say, hurts, doesn't it? Oh, my goodness, what a line. The new Roadhouse, I was expecting a little more seriousness. It's goofy, okay? It's kind of goofy. The acting, some of the acting is not good. Not good at all, okay? Um, the characters are over the top. That's what they meant. They, they meant for that movie to be a caricature, a caricature of Roadhouse, okay? So knowing that they meant for it to be a caricature, I'll probably watch it again and enjoy it more because it was not Patrick Swayze and Sam Elliott being seriously cool. Okay. Those two dudes were seriously cool. Jake Gyllenhaal, dude's fit, dude's buff, dude's good actor. Um, that was not the character they gave him. They didn't give him a cool, cool dude character. Okay. Um, and, um, Uh, I'm having a brain fart. The um, the Irish act, uh, a UFC guy that played Conor McGregor. Um, Conor McGregor, you know, it's his first acting role, you know, really. And um, he was this larger than life, you know, you know. Um, but being a caricature, he was entertaining. Okay, I did not, I did not like it as much when I first watched it. I might watch it again because the action's pretty cool. But man, the first movie, by the way, the first movie was set in Southwest Missouri. Okay. I believe it was in Eureka, Missouri, somewhere near the Ozarks. I think it was Eureka, Missouri, somewhere, somewhere in the Southwest Missouri near the Ozarks. This one's set in the Keys, in Key West, in Key, Florida, um, Glass Key, Florida. Jeff Healy was the coolest cat in Roadhouse. Blind dude playing the piano, playing the steel guitar. 
Jeff Healy, rocking it out, man, rocking it out. Um, so the new Roadhouse, nothing like the old Roadhouse. It is a caricature, kind of a spoof, kind of a, it's funny. It's it's kind of out there. It's kind of over the top. So watching it like an over the top Sylvester Stallone movie, you know, it's kind of like that. Yeah. <laughs> Over the top, you know, it's it's very over the top. Mike Birch watched it. Jasper, Missouri. That's it. Great. Jasper, Missouri. Yeah. Cully Texan. I got irritated when 140 pound guys walk around like Connor does. <laughs> Anyways, my 160 pounds. Doesn't he? Soaking wet. Because it's Sam and Patrick. You can't come close to those two. Man, Sam Elliott. Man, that hurts, doesn't it? Oh, man. Man, that's good. Hey, you know, he's he's this old weather guy and he throws his hair back and he and he puts his sleeves up. And just, let's get this on. Come on. Good movie. Good movie. Glenn and Sean, Sam and Salty Life. Watch the one that came out years ago for the first time the other day. The Heat with Melissa Carthy and, Carthy and Sandra Bullock. My sides hurt for the days from laughing. Don't know if I've seen that one. Don't know if I've seen it. Um, Jen Jen says, love is music. Love is music. Etienne says, be right back. All right, I don't know how we got off on movies. How does Tim just, just go all over the place, all right? Tim just goes all over the place. Um, Pops Run's going to dig it up. You, you got to now. You got to. And by the way, Roadhouse is now on Netflix, the old one and the new one. So if you want to go back and watch the old one, they brought it back up on Netflix so you can watch the old one. Mm. Yes, that's a good movie. That is a good movie. Jasper, Missouri. That's right. Thank you very much, sir. Jasper, Missouri. <coughs> all right. So what I was saying before I got all into the uh, poll about Ricky Bobby and Talladega Nights, because uh, I was trying to kill some time. I, that's all this is, right? It's, that's all YouTube is, just killing some time. But killing the time with you, people. Killing the time with you. Tim is Tim. Yeah. I don't do Netflix. I'm a prime kind of guy. Yep. I got I got both, luckily. I got both. Well, actually, Grandma Carol's got Netflix and I got Prime, but we live on the same residence, so we're good. Roadhouse by Doors, one of my favorite songs. Mm. I got it on disc too, says Mama V. Wow. Wow. All right. So guys, 47 minutes, 140 still people in here. People still in here. Thank you very much for that. Tomorrow, I'm going to confirm something tomorrow, and then on ramblings, if my confirmation holds true, I'm going to make a big announcement on ramblings that has to do with the barn dominium, and it's not trip and the land clearing. Okay, I contacted trip today and said, Trip. Can't do the land clearing. I'm having surgery on Friday. As soon as I'm mobile, I'll let you know, and we can get that scheduled if you come out here and clear land. So this is not clearing land. Not clearing land, okay? I've got big news. I'm going to confirm it tomorrow. I got big news about the Barn Dominium. Things are moving, guys. Things are moving. Um, surgery's on Friday. PT on April 1st, April Fool's Day. Going to make a fool out of me. Make Watch me cry like a baby. Cry like a baby. Um, can't spill it. Got to confirm it, Auntie Anne. Can't, can't spill it. Got to confirm it. Um, shotgun. No, what's it on? Shotgun. I don't know. I missed, I missed that, Jin Jin. Um, Wanda Henry says, 142 in the chat. 102 likes. Hit the like button. Everyone for Tim. Thank you very much. Appreciate that, Wanda Henry. Junk to Gems Homestead is in the house. Hello, guys. How you doing? Missed me some Junk to Gems. I got to hang with them over there at uh, David's, and we had such a great, great time. So fun. So fun. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, let's see what else we got going on. I have to remember a few things else I wanted to tell you about because I did not make my list today. No list. No list. Uh, Judy Lipsy, I get the bread out of the oven. Mm prayers for my surgery. Thank you very much. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Cully Texan, Hulu or FX? You never saw the old miniseries from the 80s. Um, which miniseries? Um, was it Shotgun or Shogun? Shogun. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I bet it's a new Dozer series for the 2030 debut. No, 
no, no, no, no. Big way of Florida. Not a dozer. Not a dozer. I promise. Something else. Auntie Anne's back. Um, so glad surgery has been approved. Thank you, Ronnie Dowdy. Appreciate you very, very much. Glenn and Salty Shannon, uh, Glenn and Shannon Salty left. I remember a mini series in the seventies with Richard Chamberlain. Yes. Shogun. So good. So good. And guys, I'm going to make, I'm going to make it a, a, a uh, uh, I, I'm going to say this and y'all are going to like, Tim, how is this possible? I've never, ever, ever watched Lonesome Dove. Am I the only person in here that's never watched Lonesome Dove? Never watched it. Never watched it. Any shirt giveaway? Not tonight, Lila. Not tonight. Maybe soon. Maybe soon. Talk about the new Shogun remake. I have not seen it. I'll have to check it out. It's the Sips date. No, Brian. I'm still waiting. Um, still going back and forth with uh, Honest Abe, getting the drawings with the architect and everything. We're doing doors and windows now and stuff. So um, still, still waiting on final drawings. So no, not that's not it. That's not it. Um, that's an oldie, Tim. Yeah, Lonesome Dove. I've ne I've never seen it, but I know most people uh, that like that genre have seen Lonesome Dove. What? You've never seen Lonesome Dove? That's the best movie of all time, says Dawn from Hat Creek Homestead. Paul Honeyman says, what? Lonesome Dove was an awesome series. I know. I heard the best. Heard I heard so much about it. <coughs> Pettit Jean River Homestead. I saw Killdozer back in the 70s. Uh, I hate them to this day. Yeah. Firefly 64 watched for Costner. Yeah. Pretty much anything Costner is in is going to be some good stuff, isn't it? Going to be some good stuff. I've got it on DVD, says Grandma Carol. She wants me to watch Lonesome Dove. I do not have a DVD player. I don't, um, yeah, I kind of, no. Uh, maybe maybe on Convalescing, I'll watch some Lonesome Dove. Uh, Leon Miller says, I could use some prayers for April 1st. My wife and I are going to meet with a lawyer so I can adopt her daughter, Selena. Well, congratulations. Yes, definitely some prayers on that. Uh, Lila Newton says, shame on you. Lonesome Dove was a great show. Jin Jen said, let's watch it. I need to watch it. Okay. Heirloom permaculture. Hello. Hello. Catching the end of this. Okay, guys. Junk to gems is that's my favorite. Tombstone. Okay. You going to just stand there and bleed or do something? Draw that smoke wagon. <laughs> oh, Tombstone is one of the, it is one of my favorite movies of all time. You going to just stand there and bleed or you going to do something? Draw that smoke wagon. Mm, mm, mm. Man, what a good movie. I'm your Huckleberry. Skin that smoking wagon. Skin that smoke wagon. That's what he said. <laughs> Why <Well>, my <laughs> Tombstone is the second greatest movie of all time. It is, it is definitely it, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. One of my favorite movies, yes. Um, so many good quotes. Kurt Russell and Val Kilmer. Um well, my dear Virgil, I do believe we've <laughs> Tombstone was one of the best. Yep. Uh, so many good movies. I love movies. I love. She has already been calling me dad for five years. Oh, Leon, that's great. That's great. Uh, anime, you're going to be super funny coming off your drugs from surgery. I, I hope so. I hope I'm not a big crying baby. Junk to gems. My favorite line is, but I have two guns, one for each of you. <laughs> That's when he was drunk, sitting there like, well, uh, unfortunately, I'm seeing double Larry Wyatt, but luckily, I've got two guns, one for each of you. <laughs> Ferris Bueller Day Off, another great, great movie. Oh, my goodness. Guys, we can just talk about movies. This is crazy. Kelly Texan, Tim, that was a common mis misconception. It's not I'm your Huckleberry. It's I'm your Huckleberry. Huckleberry. Um. He actually said Huckleberry, but you're right. It is Hucklebearer. Um, Hucklebearer is what the term was back in those days. Um, I did look that up. Uh, I'll be your Paul Bear. It makes much, much more sense uh, than when Val Kilmer said, I'm your Huckleberry. Um, he actually was, should have been and was saying, I'm your Huckleberry. Huckleberry. Paul Bear. That's exactly right, Cuddly Texan. You are exactly right. Shiloh Akers, Tim. Curious if you've ever checked out Veteran Biker. If not, you may like him. Pretty cool dude. You yeah, actually, I'm, uh, I think I'm, uh, friends with him on something. I think I'm friends with him on something. Absolutely. Rest in peace, peace, Jeff Healy. That's right. Mike Birch. Rest in peace, Jeff 
Healy. Thank you there, Brian Wilkerson with the member emojis. Appreciate you very, very much. Jeff Campbell, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Oh, yeah, it's a good song. Good, good, good show. Good show. All right, guys, it is 55 minutes. I know you guys got stuff to do. Uh, Sergeant Talk TV, I do believe, is going live next. Uh, if any moderators want to put a link to Sergeant's Talk TV, uh, they'll be going live in five minutes. Give you a chance to go get you a nice Coke Zero. Go use the bathroom. Come back and listen to Jason and the Big Mike talk about all things military. And it's not just for the military, guys. They talk about military, but they want you to go there too, okay? So go check out Sergeant's Talk TV. I do appreciate every single one of you. love Kentucky Bluegrass Living. I love Junk to Gyms. They're so awesome. And Shiloh Acres. Appreciate you so, so much. Crazy John, you're an awesome dude. Wanda Henry, oh, thank you, Miss Wanda. Thank you, thank you, K62. Appreciate you. Leon Miller, good luck with that. Many prayers, absolutely. Deborah McDowell, thank you. I appreciate the prayers. Kim Campbell, appreciate that as well. Dawn, thank you, Dawn, for the link. Appreciate that. Auntie Ann with the link. Paul Honeyman, love you, brother. Hope that back gets to feeling better, man. Take care. Carolyn Messer, thank you so, so much. All right, guys, big wave. You have a good night. I love every single one of you. So until next time, I hope everyone has a blessed, blessed evening and go Ridge Live. Hot mic. Yeah.